Well, I'll see how this comes out. I've got the little laser light here, and the light's dim. Put it right on the glass. And yeah, you can see. See how it's uh, it's showing a true col collide. Got that Tyndall effect, see? You can see that light? Yeah. And it's only showing, like, on a TDS meter, it's only showing, like, three or four parts per million. Um, but, that's this thing. Right here. It's only showing, like, three or four parts per million. But, that doesn't mean it's really what the solution is. That's not what's going on. You can see that's really an indication that you got to... Do you have particles in there? You don't have ionic. You got microscopic particles. So it is doing a good job. I'm not gonna, you know. Actually, the TDS meter reads five parts per million. It's gonna be about ten, and that's really what I wanted to get to. Um, that that meter does not really register what's going on exactly. Um, I didn't know that when I first started doing this stuff. And this solution looks pretty clear. It's just that it's deceptive that it's clear because it's probably a little look grayish looking though. Yeah, it's it's like you could tell that's not a weak solution when it's making that kind of freaking you know, the light is looking like that. That's not a weak solution. It is not too weak at all, so. Anyway. So it's doing a good job. And uh, it's giving you a true collide with ionic. You know, it's a mixture. But um, I'm just going by what John White says. You know, I think this stuff is right. So, I mean, everybody's got a million opinions on this type of thing. But, you know, it's doing a good job. And I think... Yeah, you do need the lab store, and actually what I do is I put a piece of paper over this, just so nothing falls inside. <laughs> you know, I want to keep it really good, so that's the way we'll do it.